putus. Putus itu putus. My friends. Start with this. Oh, 
चयंडी
సార్ పక్కనే ఉన్నట్టున్నాడు అందుకని చేస్తాడు చేస్తాడు పోస్ట్ ఇవ్వండి సార్ ఈయనకి ఎంత తీరు
సారీ ఫర్ ద ఇంటర్రప్షన్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వి ఆర్ అబ్జర్వింగ్ ద స్లోప్ ద స్టీపర్ ద స్లోప్ ఇండికేటింగ్ దట్ హైయర్ ద స్పీషీస్ రిచ్నెస్ the slope uh, the slope value is uh, 0.0.5 to 0.2 in a general fashion whereas we have to take an example that is a continent when we observe the species richnet the z value ranges from 0.6 to 0.1.2 it indicating that species richness uh, is very high for example uh, frugivorous fruit eating birds and mammals in the tropical forest the different in the different continents the slope is found to be 1.15 see that the diagrammatic representation if it is a straight line the z value is 1 that indicating that a standard richness can be maintained when the species richness increasing it uh, increases from 1 to 1.5 so the richness is very high the slope value below the 1 it indicating that the species richness is gradually decreasing at what level at what level means uh, the species richness increasing with the explored area at a certain extent after that when it attains when it attains an equilibrium state uh, the rate of increasing cannot be observed by the scientist maybe it is increasing but uh, some circumstances that declining also taking place so that we can't observe the increasing rate of the species richness okay then uh, importance of species uh, diversity in an uh, ecosystem what is the importance when we see the importance take for example uh, tillman's experiment tillman's uh, what uh, he said what he said is the species richness when we observe in a outdoor plots outdoor plots lo mana species richness kanaka observe chesthe the outdoor plots which showed very less variations with the high richness indicating that uh, the biomass cannot be disturbed if the species richness according to tillman's experiment they can have more number of species with less variations it uh, leads to no variations in the biomass year to year not only that the species diversity contributed to higher productivity whenever the species richness is high automatically the productivity will also be high that is the tillman's experiments then uh, uh, paul erickson he was a scientist conducted an experiment that uh, he gave a hypothesis that is a rivet popper hypothesis the name of the paul erickson's experiment is rivet popper he has taken uh, an aeroplane uh, comparable with an ecosystem removing the rivets from the aeroplane one by one gradually the aeroplane will lead to a crash at a certain point so that the important importance of rivets for that aeroplane is comparable with the importance of species in a ecosystem if the rivet removing from the seed or some other relatively minor important parts may not damage the plane whereas the removal of rivet from the supporting wing suddenly the crash will occur in the plane likewise the removal of a critical species from an ecosystem the uh, the ecosystem will be diminished by the removal of critical 
species that is the paul erickson's hypothesis it is very important in a need point of view so removal of a important uh, critical species from ecosystem like that of the rivet from the supporting wing of the plane it can uh, leads to crash in the same fashion the ecosystem will also be diminished then uh, what is the role of biodiversity in the universe what how it can plays biodiversity is beneficial to human beings as it it plays an important role at various levels of diverse development and to explain the role played the different aspects are categorized into three types the biodiversity can acts in the universe in three types that is uh, narrowly utilitarian argument broadly utilitarian argument and ethical argument first of all uh, we will discuss narrowly utilitarian argument from the biodiversity we can derive so many food materials for example cereals pulses fruits firewood fiber construction materials industrial products like uh, tannins lubricants dyes resins perfumes rubber latex cork etc and products of medicinal importance for example anti cancer drug wind blast in the product of medicinal importance uh, it can be derived from the plant uh, ah vinca rosea it is the uh, it can gives the wind blast in it can used in the ah uh, treatment of the cancer then uh, digitalin from the fox glow plant that is digitalis purpurea to treat uh, certain cardiac problems etc are obtained from diverse living organisms uh, which are commonly important so that uh, narrowly we, we we observe in a narrow fashion we have to derive so many things for uh, food as well as living aspects as well as medicinal value from the plants itself then broadly utilitarian argument saying that it explains that biodiversity plays a major role in many ecosystem services that nature provides for which we can't put a price tag for example percent of oxygen in the atmosphere among 21% 20% can be Yeah, came from the Amazon rainforest. Without Amazon rainforest, there is no availability of oxygen in the atmosphere. Then uh, pollination by pollinating agents like bees, birds, bats, etc. Without which the plants do not produce fruits and seeds. There are other benefits also. Uh, so without pollination of plants, uh, we can't get any material from the plant, isn't it? Then ethical argument. there is a contact there is intimacy with uh, uh, plants animals and human beings that is nothing but coexistence so without plants and animals there is no human life at all that is that is nothing but uh, ethical argument then come to the threats to biodiversity what are the threats for the diminishing of uh, biodiversity so this it is also explained in uh, evil quartet four major causes can diminish the biodiversity it can be treated as the evil quartet among evil quartet quartet means four among four evil quartet the major first one is the habitat loss and fragmentation these are the major important reasons for the loss of biodiversity among the habitat loss and the fragmentation the first hazardous thing is deforestation leads to species extinction in forest for example tropical rain forest once covering 14% of the earth's land surface is now reduced to only 4% tropical rain forest which are occupied 14% in previous days it can be distracted up to 4% imagine then uh, conversion of forest land to agricultural land for example amazon rain forest previously i have already told to you it can gives 20% of atmospheric oxygen these are the lungs of our planet harboring innumerable species 
uh, these are cut and clear to cultivate soya beans or conversion to grasslands for raising beef cattle imagine without uh, amazon rain forest we are not getting any sufficient oxygen for the planet then uh, pollution enhances the degradation of habitats and uh, threatens the survival of many species as pollutants change the quality of the environment then come to the fragmentation of habitat leads to population decline for example mammals and birds requiring large territories and certain animals with migratory habits are badly affected by the fragmentation what is fragmentation it is the process of formation of discontinuation this ah uh, discontinuities in the natural habitat due to geological processes or human activities geological fragmentation ah uh, may lead to speciation sometimes uh, the geographical fragmentation leads to new species it is beneficial whereas man made fragmentation can destroy the living organisms it is hazardous to the biodiversity then second evil quality is uh, over exploitation over uses of the organisms when need turns to greed it leads to over exploitation for example stellar sea cow sea cow named after the scientist stella so passenger pigeon which ex uh, existed in north america are extinct due to over exploitation by humans ekku man vaade stunne tappudiki they will be diminished the existence of many commercially important marine fishes are endangered as they are over harvested so marine fishes are uh, extincted because of the invasion of uh, exotic species exotic means manam foreign nunchi import chestunnatvanti species evaithe unnayo they can be uh, give damage to our native species then the antam invasion of alien species alien species means uh, Impo uh, imported species uh, when alien species are introduced into a habitat they turn invasive and establish themselves at the cost of the indigenous species indigenous means our native species are affected by the imported species for example nile perch introduced into lake victoria in east africa led to the extinction of 200 species of uh, uh, eclid fish in the lake so invasion of nail perch can damage the our native species illegal introduction of exotic african catfish clarius garifinus for aquaculture purpose is uh, posing a threat to the indigenous catfishes adhavutundamma when exotic and invasive weeds like the carrot carrot grass pardinium uh, spanish flag lantana lantana water hyacinth icarnia are introduced into our ecosystems they not only damage the environment but also ha huh, threaten the very ha huh, extensive of native species so our native species are damaged by the exotic species then now come to the fourth uh, evil quantity that is co extinction in an oblique association obligate association the obligate association means without the parasite there is no host at all that is obligate relationship uh, when uh, obligate association between a plant and uh, an animal if a plant becomes extinct the animal also becomes extinct as seen in a parasite another uh, as a parasite and host association if the host becomes extinct parasite meets the same fa uh, fail and the ఎప్పుడైతే హోస్ట్ చనిపోతుందో ఆటోమేటిక్ గా డిపెండెంట్ పారాసైట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో డిమినిష్ హౌ టు హౌ టు వి కన్జర్వ్ బయోడైవర్సిటీ మనం మరి ఇలా డిమినిష్ అయిపోతున్నటువంటి ఈ బయోడైవర్సిటీ హౌ కెన్ వి కన్జర్వ్ ఇట్ బై విచ్ వే వి హౌ టు కన్జర్వ్ ఇట్ దేర్ ఆర్ టూ మెథడ్స్ టు కన్జర్వ్ బయోడైవర్సిటీ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ బయోడైవర్సిటీ బై టూ మెథడ్స్ వన్ ఈస్ ఇన్ సి టు conservation in situ means uh, conservation of biodiversity in the native places without disturbing them that is in situ conservation then uh, ex situ conservation conservation of uh, biodiversity take out from their native places introduced in a safe place and conserve them 
that is the activity of conservation see the tabular form methods of conservation of biodiversity in situ conservation on site it is also called as on site conservation then ex situ conservation off site conservation in a in situ conservation what are the organizations are there national parks sanctuaries ma biosphere reserves sacred groves whereas ex situ conservation cryo preservation in vitro culture and gene bank first of all we have to observe in situ conservation on site conservation in in situ conservation is a process of protecting an animal species in its natural habitat i have already told to you in its natural habitat without disturbing them we have to protect them the benefit is that it maintains the recovering populations in the surrounding where they have developed their distinctive properties conservation is identified certain regions by name biodiversity hotspot the conservation the conservation is observed certain region they named as biodiversity hotspots what are the biodiversity hotspots for for maximum protection as they are characterized by very high levels of species richness and a high degree of endemism by definition what is the bio diversity hotspot by definition biodiversity hotspot is a bio geographic region with a significant reservoir of biodiversity that is under threat of extinction from humans they are its biologically richest and most threatened terrestrial eco regions what is the meaning of this biodiversity hotspots are nothing but reservoirs of biodiversity reservoirs means they are having a you know, high number of species species richness is very high but uh, human threatening is very high so those are the terrestrial eco regions see biodiversity hotspots the concept of biodiversity hotspot was pro proposed by Norman Mayers. There are about thirty-four biodiversity hotspots in the world, as these regions are threatened by destruction. Habitat loss is accelerated. Example: Western Ghats and Sri Lanka, Indo-Burma. Third one is the Himalayas in India. These are the biodiversity hotspots. How many are there? Thirty-four biodiversity hotspots are present in the world. Ecologically unique and biodiversity-rich regions are legally protected, as in biosphere reserves. They are eighteen in number. How many biosphere reserves are there? Eighteen biosphere reserves. The latest one is eighteenth. That is Panna, located in Madhya Pradesh. That is the eighteenth biosphere. reserve which is uh, recently discovered then uh, national parks they are 90 in number in the world then sanctuary is 448 in neat examination they are asking like this what is the latest biosphere reserve where it located kinda meku options ister the 18th latest biosphere reserve is panna biosphere reserve located in madhya pradesh then biosphere reserve the definition an area which is set aside minimally disturbed for the conservation of the resources of the biosphere is biosphere reserve what is biosphere reserve a place which is aside it is minimally disturbed we can't disturb them only if we are disturbing them for the conservation of the resources of the biosphere that's all we can't disturb them in in any in any purposes isn't it that the reserve is highly protected biosphere reserve latest biosphere reserve is 17th biosphere reserve in india sheshachalam hills india lo ekkada undadi sheshachalam hills anamata biosphere reserve then national parks idu kuda adutu untadu what is the latest biosphere reserve that is the 17th biosphere reserve sheshachalam hills located in tirupati then now uh, come to the national park a national park is a national habitat strictly reserved for protection of nature natural life 
national parks across the country offer a fascinating diversity of terrain flora and fauna some important national parks ikkada meeku icham chudandi in india jim carpet national park the first national park in india located in uttarakhand ivu neetlo adugutu untadi in uttarakhand the first national, first national park was located the name of that national park is the following ani four options isthadu what is that national park jim carpet national park then kaziranga national park located in assam kasu brahmanand reddy national park mahavir harina vanasthali national park located in andhra pradesh ha ah, kiyo ladyo gana national park located in rajasthan so these are the national park then sanctuaries sanctuary specific endangered faunal species are well protected in in wildlife sanctuaries which permits eco tourism only scientists can ha uh, 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 see the uh, uh, sanctuaries but not normal people only eco tourism is uh, permitted to the sanctuaries adu avutunda so some important uh, sanctuaries in india that is ap include uh, koringa sanctuary ha uh, edur nagar sanctuary papikondalu sanctuary located in andhra pradesh then sacred grove what is the sacred grove what is the definition a small group of trees ah uh, then a forest is called sacred forest ani chettu undu but a small group of trees which are called as sacred groves the sacred uh, the grove of trees of special religious importance to a particular culture is called a sacred groves we how to respect them in a particular culture we, we have to celebrate some festivals for those sacred groves also in a cultural phenomena so in these regions all the trees of wildlife are venerated it means respected and given total protection the following is a list of sacred groves in india see kasi and jaintia hills located in nagalaya aravalli hills in rajasthan and gujarat western ghat region karnataka and maharashtra ha ah, ha ah, sarkuja bastar chatisgarh lo unnai alage chanda uh, sacred groves ekkada unnai madhya pradesh lo unnai in meghalaya sacred groves are the last refuges for a, for a large number of rare and threatened species chaala endangered species threatened species ekkada unnai atamma ha ah, meghalaya lo unnai so there is a need of uh, protecting of uh, those uh, sacred groves for the protection of wildlife then uh, ex situ conservation when we observe ex situ threatened animals are taken out of their natural habitat and placed in special settings where they are protected those are called as ex situ conservation processes this include zoological parks advancement of ex situ preservation techniques such as cryo preservation are helping us protect endangered species cryo preservation ante entante preservation of uh, gametes and embryos of threatened species at the temperature of 196 degree centigrade then in vitro culture gene banks are mostly used for plants i use in red data book what is i use in red data book international union for the conservation of nature and natural resources dekwa neat lo aduthuntadu full form of iucn iucn is nothing but international union for the conservation of nature and natural resources is the world's main authority on the issue of conservation status of species all the threatened species are listed in the red data books red data books are published by the iucn authority these species are classified into different categories based on degree of risk and they are chiefly red data book lo iucn vallu classify chesina twenty threatened species enni enni rakalaga categorize chesaru amma critically endangered avu chaala dangerous condition lo unnayi ani artham then endangered they are also having risk then vulnerable ee vulnerable mana protect cheyipothe diminish aipothayi if you protect them they will survive then conservation of wildlife in india how can we conserve this is through legislation preservation and organizations what is legislation under the provision of the wildlife act 
formulated in 1972 killing endangered wild animals is strictly prohibited oka act formulate ayindamma eppudu 1972 do that is wildlife act according to this killing of endangered species and uh, uh, wild animals is strictly prohibited trading wildlife products like tusks of elephants uh, horns of rhinos vitni trade cheyadam kuda offensive chaala పనిషబుల్ ఇవి ఉంటాయి అనమాట రిస్క్లు ఉంటాయి దెన్ ప్రిజర్వేషన్ అది లెజిస్లేషన్ దెన్ ప్రిజర్వేషన్ ఏంటి మరి నేషనల్ పార్క్స్ శాంక్చురీస్ బయోస్పియర్ రిజర్వ్స్ సేక్రెడ్ గ్రూవ్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా డిఫరెంట్ రీజియన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఎన్ ఇయర్ మార్క్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ డైవర్స్ ఫాన్ అండ్ ఫ్లోరా ఇదండి ఇదంతా కూడా మనం ప్రిజర్వేషన్ లో చదువుకున్నాం దెన్ ఆర్గనైజేషనల్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఏంటి ఆర్గనైజేషనల్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఎట్లా ప్రొటెక్ట్ చేయాలి ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ సెటప్ టు ప్రివెంట్ డిస్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియాస్ వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ వాట్ ఆర్ దే వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ సొసైటీ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఎక్కడ ఉంది ఇట్ ఈస్ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ డెహ్రాడూన్ వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ సర్వే సొసైటీ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఇట్ ఈస్ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ డెహ్రాడూన్ దెన్ జులాజికల్ సర్వే ఆఫ్ ఇండియా లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ కోల్కతా దీస్ టూ ఆర్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషనల్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ areas agencies conservation of biodiversity is a global necessity it is the collective responsibility of all nations to protect the diverse living forms on the planet one such step was in the form of act summit which was uh, occurred in 1992 in rio de janeiro and the other being world summit on sustainable development idu ekkada jarigindante జోహన్ బర్గ్ సౌత్ ఆఫ్రికాలో జరిగింది దెర్ ఆర్ టూ సమిట్స్ గోల్డ్ సమిత్ ఎర్త్ సమిత్ ఈ రెండు జరిగాయి ఫర్ ది ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ దే ఫోకస్డ్ ఆన్ సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ రిడక్షన్ ఇన్ ద కరెంట్ రేట్ ఆఫ్ లాస్ ఆఫ్ బయోడైవర్సిటీ అట్ ద గ్లోబల్ రీజనల్ అండ్ లోకల్ లెవెల్ అఫర్ట్స్ మస్ట్ బి ఇంటెన్సిఫై టు పాస్ ఆన్ అవర్ బయలాజికల్ లెగసీ టు ది ఫ్యూచర్ జనరేషన్ అంతే కదా మనం ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తే సరిపోదు ఇట్ మస్ట్ బి క్యారీడ్ ఆన్ టు ది future generations also threatened species in india what are the threatened species see see the tabular form the asiatic lion panthera leo persica that is the scientific name then uh, black bug in the black bug antelope cervi cap cervi capra then uh, red panda red panda ante ma altruses ah ఒక్రైన్ ఒక్రేషియస్ ఆల్ట్రూసియస్ ఒక్రేషియస్ అంటే రెడ్ పాండా రెడ్ పాండా కూడా ఎలా ఉంది థ్రెటన్ స్పీషీస్ లో ఉంది ద లయన్ ద లయన్ టైల్డ్ మకాక్ మకాక్ 